Hey everyone, and welcome to What If Disney World. I'm Stevie. And I'm Amy. And today we're going to be reviewing our recent dinner at California Grill. So this is currently a special prefix dining experience with unique touches for the 50th anniversary, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Located on the 15th floor of the Contemporary Building, the California Grill offers absolutely delicious signature fine dining with amazing, spectacular views of the Magic Kingdom and the Seven Seas Lagoon. We got lucky enough to get a window seat and we could see right out over Magic Kingdom. It was absolutely beautiful. And while this was a wonderful spot to do a date night, Mm -hmm. I was also really surprised at how kid-friendly it felt too. They had special kids menus. A couple of the tables of families seated around us had kids, one even with a little baby. Mm -hmm. And while it felt really nice and upscale, it did not feel stuffy or pretentious at all. And I would absolutely feel comfortable bringing the kids back if we went again. And along with that, I think a big part of the feel was our server. He was absolutely wonderful. He was so warm and inviting and it really like made us feel like family while we were there, got to know us, had conversations throughout the meal, and that really added to the overall experience. It was just wonderful. Yeah, he was super nice, very knowledgeable. Uh, so they gave us also this uh, souvenir menu, which mentions the neat story and history of the restaurant. So it opened in 1971 as Top of the World Restaurant, And it had a dinner show called Broadway at the Top. And there's pictures of this. When you get off the elevators, make sure to look on the walls and see the pictures. It's pretty neat. But it changed to California Grill in 1995. Yeah, and it's been a favorite ever since. But this was our first time dining there and amazing. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about the food. For starters, they bring out some focaccia bread with olive oil and sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And wow, I mean, it seems so simple, but the sun-dried tomatoes added such a really nice sweetness to this. If you got a bite of the focaccia bread with some olive oil and added a sun-dried tomato on there... Ooh, holy cow. I had to restrain myself not to just eat the whole meal of this and fill up on that. For my appetizer, I had the Florida blue crab bisque, and it was really, really good. It had this great seafood flavor with a, a touch of heat, not too hot, um, creamy. It just was really, really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, and for my appetizer, I got the braised beef short rib wontons. Holy moly. This was a recommendation from a friend and they melted in your mouth and they had such a depth of flavor. The meat was just so packed full of flavor. Um, Our server actually was very kind and suggested that I maybe order the chili sauce on the side if I didn't like a lot of heat. And I'm really glad I did. So if you don't like a lot of spice, ask for the chili sauce on the side because it was a little bit too spicy for me. And the wontons were amazing on their own. I didn't think they needed the chili sauce. Mm. And so for my entree, which was amazing, I got the cast iron grilled pork tenderloin and it was excellent. Tender, great flavor. It was served with this cheesy polenta, which paired well with the pork. I just thought it was great. I wasn't sure what to get as an entree, but I'm glad I got that because it was delicious. Yeah, and you, it had a piece of pork belly on the plate too, right? Yes. It had, it had that too, yeah. Um, for my entree, I got the oak-fired filet of beef. Absolutely, I can say this was one of the top three best steaks I have ever had in my life. It had a really wonderful smoky flavor. It was super tender. It was served with asparagus that was delicious. I love asparagus, but it just really, really was an amazing, great quality of meat that was cooked absolutely perfectly. I would get that again and again and again. Mm Mm-hmm. 
And for dessert, I had the iridescent Grand Mariner Creme Brulee. It had a unique flavor. I've had Creme Brulee at other places before. This was delicious, very smooth. It's another one of those things I think if I went back, I would get again because it was a very good dessert. Yeah, I tasted yours, and Mm -hmm. that was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Um, I got the special five magical bites for the 50th anniversary. These were some samples, small little samples of different desserts from the different chefs. And it was really fun to just taste all the different flavors and experience all of that. First up, there was a super rich dark chocolate pudding scoop there and it was topped with a little meringue and the meringue interestingly had a mint flavor to it this was a really nice bite especially if you like chocolate it was super rich so you really didn't want more than just that dollop Mm -hmm. Um, but it was very good and then there was a honey dessert that I didn't get a whole lot of honey but it tasted like the most perfect vanilla cupcake you've ever eaten in your life. That's what it tasted like Mm -hmm. to me. And then there was a lemon dessert that had a really nice, strong lemon flavor, but it was not too tart. It was perfectly balanced sweetness and lemon flavor. Loved that. And then there was a carrot cake bite and a cheesecake bite that were kind of just plain, nothing really to write home about, but they were the perfect classic dessert. Like if you think about the perfect carrot cake or the perfect cheesecake, this is what it tasted like. It was just kind of plain and classic, but that's really nice sometimes just to have a classic done perfectly. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we really love this restaurant and would definitely eat here again, especially For another date night, a special occasion, it was neat to go up there. The views, the food, all in all, excellent experience, excellent food. Yeah, I I would eat here again. The price is obviously a little bit restrictive. Um, You can't eat here every single trip, but was it worth it to me? A hundred percent. Absolutely. It was worth it. The quality of the food, the whole dining experience, the view... 100% I would do it again. Well, there's our review. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you next time.